Hi guys, Gilliam Elliott here with an educational video about medical tourism. Today I wanna to talk about a little known talked about growth hack in the medical tourism industry. And it's how you can generate more revenue for your company and how you can generate more streams of income by the trips that you already facilitate. And what I mean by this is that when you send a patient abroad, a lot of people think, okay, I made money because I sent a patient to a healthcare provider abroad and they just stick with that and then they go on to the next patient. But the secret to growing any business to its full potential is your reoccurring revenue. And what I mean by that is continuous revenue from one source. Because let's say you send a patient to an overseas healthcare provider that you have a relationship with and you get compensated for that. They pay you for that. That's one patient and you got paid one time off of that. But what happens if that patient goes back at a later date? Or what happens if that patient goes with a companion or a spouse or a friend? Are you getting paid if that spouse or that friend gets a procedure too? A lot of facilitators aren't getting paid for that. So in your medical tourism agreement with these overseas healthcare providers, you need to have clear statements in your contracts that say you will be compensated or paid from any individual that comes from your original referral. Anybody they bring on that trip with them and they get a procedure done, you want to be compensated for that. You want to be paid for that. And it needs to be in your contracts because if it's not in your contract, they're not going to honor it. And it's also really important that you keep an open line of communication with your past clients because they might go back at a later date. And if you don't have a relationship with them and you're not in communication with them, you don't know what's going on. You want to make sure that you're constantly following up with them even after the procedure and make sure that you keep a line of communication open. But as a medical tourism facilitator, you can generate a whole new stream of income just by your past clients referring their family member and their friends or them going back and getting a procedure and you getting paid for that. So tactics like these open up a whole new form of revenue from past clients that you did business with, let's say months ago or years ago. You can start generating revenue from them today. And the beauty of this tactic is that it takes no extra effort on your behalf. And it's something that I've seen top medical tourism facilitators use and have great outcomes with, but the vast majority of medical tourism facilitators, especially startups, aren't even looking at this source of income. But I want you to know about this tactic so you can grow your business to its maximum potential. But thank you for watching this video. And if you found value in it, please like, share, and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.